Looks like the guard at the gate has a bone to pick with our heroes. Let's hope he doesn't can see him coming. He's the skeleton. D&D Mites. <laughs> Okay, everybody roll initiative for me. Ah, crap. Whoa. You That's okay? a one. I rolled a one. I rolled a two. I rolled a 10. That's good. I rolled a 16. So I got a two plus four, a six. I have okay. 13, right? Yeah, 13. I have one plus zero. I'll give you a second. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so remind me, he's on like a bridge type thing. Thing, right? Yeah, he's on a wooden bridge. He's standing at the entrance. He has two scimitars in his hands. Oh, free action. I'm sorry. I just, I forgot what you just said. Uh, what was that about magic? Well, it's not very good podcasting, is it? If I just repeat that, because some people are going to be binge listening to the God show. So it, I just God. say the same thing over and over again. I said, uh, we're giants are the only ones who holy magic doesn't work on after we die. You just announced that to Aye. us for the second time now. You just said that. I did. Well, now it feels weird, right? Yep. It feels awkward. Right. Also, I feel like my voice was slightly different. I feel like it was ago, too. So. <laughs> yeah. But this is what it is now. So huh. buckle slightly. the fuck up. <laughs> Those binge listeners are going to be like, right, this is really weird. Ah, whatever. Okay. He was so upset at <laughs> Bridget not paying attention <laughs> when he said that badass thing before initiative roll that he uh, became that kind of Scottish or whatever the fuck voice I'm doing. That, okay, yeah. We're not Scottish? Sure. Right. I thought that was a <laughs> Scottish <laughs> accent you were doing just now. Yeah. Sure. Bridget sure. is a fantasy Scottish accent. That was not a Scottish accent as far as I can tell. That's true. That's but true. to be fair, everybody's like, I love your Irish accent. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. That's true. Cool, 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 cool. Bridget, you're up first. <laughs> I'm going to try Thunder Wave. All right. And I'm going to try that at a third level. Ooh, going big. Fuck yeah. Or go home. You've done that spell a bunch of times. You don't need to read the description. That is a 21. Motherfucker. So he is going to save and he's going to take zero damage, not half damage. So the sleet comes pounding into him and he looks down at himself and he goes, oh, you are a powerful one indeed. Did you change your voice again? No. It's thunder damage, not Yeah, sleet. did you say sleet? That's oh. not holy magic. Doesn't matter. <gasps> Is it because I'm a cleric? Oh no. Somebody else hit him. See what happens with magic. Someone is going to have to try that in a second. He points a scimitar at you, Bridget, <laughs> and you comes know, over. I just remembered that I <laughs> had an appointment at the, the, the sex pit, and I would like <laughs> to leave. As you're saying that, he runs towards you and slashes down at you three times oh. with his scimitar. <laughs> Uh, it's going. What's your AC? Uh, Seventeen. Okay, that's gonna miss. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. It's gonna miss again. That's right, motherfucker. So even Ryder, and that's gonna miss again. So he comes over nice. and Rule slash, freeze. slash, slash, and for the first time, his sort of veneer of confidence breaks as you duck under his three scimitar strikes, and he steps backwards a bit and says. Oh, and a fight or two. I'm going to do mad pelvic thusts in like a, in like a victory <laughs> I'm, dance. I'm holding that. That's yeah. your action on your next yeah. No, turn. that's a bonus action. Pelvic thrusts are a bonus action. John, I hate that we had to adjudicate that already. <laughs> we know. Don't make me call Andrew. <laughs> All right, Snedrick, you're up next. Okay, I am within 60 feet of this guy, right? Oh, yeah. He is right in front of your group, like standing on the bridge. I wonder if if uh, the same. I know that you might have thunder wave, and if you did, that's what I just tried. I wonder if it would be different with you. But you know what? Go ahead and try something else. Yeah. I, I was What's the was, definition of insanity? Yeah. Again? <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. 
So I am going to cast web. Ooh. I conjure a mass of thick, sticky webbing to a point of your choice within range. So I'm going to do like the part of the bridge that he's on, but not the part that we're on. Mm -hmm. The web fills a 20 foot cube from that point for the duration. The webs are difficult terrain and lightly obscure their area. If the webs are not anchored between two solid masses, such as walls or trees, or layered across a floor, wall, or ceiling, the conjure web collapses on itself and the spell ends at the start of your next turn. Webs layered over a flat surface have a depth of five feet. Each creature that starts in the web or that enters them during its turn must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is restrained as long as it remains in the webs or until it's, it breaks free. A creature restrained by the webs can use its action to make a strength check against the spell save DC. If it succeeds, it is no longer restrained. The webs are flammable. Any five-foot cube of webs exposed to fire burns away in one round, dealing 2d4 fire damage to any creature that started its turn in the fire. Ooh. Boy, that was a lot to read. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and that just happens. There's no nothing to read. He's, he's going to have to try and break free of that on his turn. Claw, you are up next. So I was going to jump over him, but I think there's a web there now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just leading up to him. I mean, there you could try and jump behind him. Yeah, that's what I was going to try and do. This step of the wind, right? You can take a dash as a bonus action and your jump distance is doubled. Would it be worth doing that, like doing an attack and then doing that and trying to jump over him? Or is that too many actions? Yeah, it's a bonus action. So you can attack and then do disengage or dash as a bonus action. Right, but I wouldn't be able to jump as well, right? I'm going to count the jump as a dash. I think it's fair to count that jump as a dash. Okay, I'm going to do a regular unarmed strike. And I think that I get a bonus unarmed strike as well, right? You do. Are you going to jump behind him first? Or are you going to run up to him in the webs and punch him? I kind of want to attack first just in case somehow I fail the jump. And how tall is he? How, how Like, how high is it on him? A giant. He's probably like 10 feet tall, right? Yeah, let me check. He is a giant. So... I should be able to clear him if my jump distance is double. I feel like you yeah. should be able to punch him on your way over, too. Like, you should be able to <laughs> jump over, punch him a couple of times as you're flying over top of him, and mm -hmm. then land behind him. 26 feet tall. Wow! <laughs> okay, I don't think you can jump over him. Well, I don't know. Jump distance doubled. What's my jump distance? That's the question. I'm assuming that you're doing like a badass ninja jump through slash around him as opposed to like fucking vaulting over him. top. Yeah. yeah. Just don't yeah. say like medium mediocre jump when you say <laughs> yeah, like don't say like under five feet jump. <laughs> But are, what are you doing? Like unarmed strike? Are you punching him in the shins? I don't understand. Like from the yeah, the I would assume that it's like it. a fist punch, right? Just punching him in the shins. Oh, I guess that would hurt. Getting punched in the shins would fucking hurt. Okay, if someone came over and punched me in the shins. I feel like yeah. I'd fall down. No, you're right. You're like right. an Oompa Loompa the situation. Main, yeah. The main thing I want to do. <laughs> The main thing I want to do is I want to have him decide whether to <laughs> face me or face you, and hopefully we can get some back attacks in. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he'd have to stop <laughs> and do like a comically <laughs> long Right, ah. no, yeah, that would be... I get <laughs> so, it. Claw, you run along the rope of this bridge around behind him, and what, what kind of punches do you deliver here? Uh, I'm going to... Furious. Punch him in the, <laughs> in the kidney bone. <laughs> the, sorry, the kidney bone? In yeah, the kidney I'm going to punch bone. him where the kidney would be on if the way by. Because oh, he's, he's a skeleton. <laughs> the kidney bone, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You okay, can't no, punch that him makes, in the kidney. Sorry, yeah, that you're right. Ridiculous. That makes perfect sense. So it would have, obviously, because he couldn't, he would have a functioning. Yeah. I, mean, I mean the side of the bone knee, but oh, kidney. okay. All <laughs> right, roll those attacks for me. 17. Oh, shit. That'll hit. And that will not. Okay. So roll that damage for me. Nine. So you run along these ropes. You dive behind him. You punch where the kidney bone would be, except his bones are very old. So the fact that that like direct impact hits him, you're actually going to do double damage. Hey. So that's 18 Ooh. damage. It's physical damage. To the kidney. <laughs> to the kidneys. Yes. <laughs> All right, Claw, excellent turn. Well done. Make sure you mark that key point. Dave, you are up next. 
Why don't you take out your fucking blunderbuss that I'm you've taking been out talking the about this entire fucking... <laughs> thank fucking God. Explosive ammo. Just reminding everybody that that thing I, has explosive ammo. It's just Go for it. Do it anyways. Punch him. Punch <laughs> him in the shins. That you seems up, to Snedrick. work. I'll heal you, Snedrick. I'll heal you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Other option. Ready for this. Oh, yeah. shit. I can possibly... Magic fucking stones. Bread. <laughs> I could do some bread work. <laughs> I could magic stone. I feel like I actually no. I actually got rid of those because you guys never fucking used them. So I got. Rid I of that. used them. I killed somebody with one of them. Did you kill somebody with a magic? Yeah, stone? I killed somebody with one of them. God damn it! Well, when I can't do, do it do now. That? I don't remember. I mean, I don't. It's been a while. Okay, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I could. So also, here are some options. I could blunderbuss. Obviously, super cool move. But explosive ammo and Eli has decided to make it fuck up it. no matter what. Yeah. I could also <laughs> fly. I have a flying spell. I can give myself or somebody else a flying speed of 60 for the duration so they could just like fly over this guy. What item did you get in the last Gary round? I don't know. So <laughs> so like I don't see like we, we have to fight the guy, right? Or or, can, or are we just going to sneak by him? I feel like we can get by him. He's I on feel like bridge. this is a Zelda one of the Zelda rooms where the door doesn't open until you kill all the bad guys. Well, we could try and cut the bridge, right? We could try and just destroy the bridge and then fly over. I could just fly away. I could just fly people across over and over. But I I don't know like is there a glowing axe on the other side of the bridge here or <laughs> I imagine like that'd be a dumb bridge that's of well, course. It's an Italian plumber desperately <laughs> gesturing at it over there. There is. No. <laughs> you said that it's That's official canon. now. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit. Are there any hats running around over there? <laughs> okay. You could throw on the thing. Here's the other thing I can do. I can do a command and it would make him I think my move would be drop. So I get to say one word and the target has to do what I say. So he would drop whatever he's holding, which is his two scimitars. So now he's got no weapons and he ends his turn right away. So or he, he would just drop down himself. Either way, it would be he'd be pretty prone. Spell has no effect if the target is undead. Oh. But isn't he not technically undead? He's not undead. No, no, he is undead. Okay. All right. He's, he's undead. undead. Yes. Wait a second. Hold on. Then I have something else. The magic <laughs> is not okay. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. I have. This is hold how on. We find out. Wait, what I do feel I have? like you walk nine feet over and hit him with the blunderbuss. <laughs> <That's what I laughs> Just pistol whip him. <laughs> Wait, where's my in? It's my inventory. I have a thing that makes me fuck with undead stuff. Yes, I have the mark of the spirit master. Yeah, as, oh, as an action. Look at you. I am wearing this shit. thing. The wearer chooses one incorporeal undead entity within sixty feet. This all applies. The target in, incorporeal, right? He's, he's a, not. He's corporeal. He's a skeleton. He's corporeal. He's a skeleton. He doesn't have full body, but it doesn't just say fully bones. corporeal. Doesn't, he's corporeal. <laughs> that would just work against ghosts. I would say, I'm not fully corporeal. <laughs> God damn it! Why would you? Give, why would you not? Why would you not make him incorporeal so I could use my? <laughs> well, we probably have to use it later. <laughs> I'm going to use the blunderbuss. <laughs> That's it. I'm shooting. I'm shooting him in the face with the blunderbuss. Nice. Fuck yeah. Roll that dice for me. Boom. Shot him in the face. Shoot him in the knee. That is a 12. That will miss. You'll no. Yep. <laughs> Do I need to make a dexterity saving throw? Only when it hits. So, okay. Dave, you you juke back and forth. You pull out Exandria, your blunderbuss, which D and D Beyond you named, named for it some reason. Exandria. D and D Beyond named it without our consent. There's nothing I'd like we to can rename do. my blunderbuss really quick. <laughs> and you fire your blunderbuss off into the middle distance. Great, he's a bad fucking shot at that too. Can I do one other thing here? <laughs> oh, you have a, if you have a bonus action, you can. Um, yeah, I feel like this is just like a you know one of those things you can just like yeah I'm doing this too. It's not really an action. It's uh, pretty minor. Sure, I would like to uh, just uh, nicely pet my stuffed, cute, adorable dragon that I have. <laughs> I'll allow it. Got it. I have a cuddly stuffed dragon that I have uh, pet very nicely. I forgot yep. he had a teddy bear. He does. He does. Do you guys want to pet the dragon? I, I'm on the other side. I actually have a bun bun of soothing. No, so. I don't yeah. need a lovey right now. I have my, I bought my own. All right, Bridget, you are up next. Okay. Well, I am going to fuck him up with my warhammer. All right. Um, I'm going to use two hands 
And uh, I assume that my thoughts and prayers won't have any effect on this. So if we push him, would he trip like the person behind him in the pool? <laughs> well, if uh, Claw is standing on his hands, and knees Claw, kneel down behind him. <laughs> Didn't we do this in like the first episode? It's the prepared war action. It's a warhammer. It's not going to hit Claw. I, I like right. the warhammer. Here's the other just quick strategy idea. Mm. If we all on our next move run back off the bridge. And then we fuck up the bridge from one side. He falls in, and then we fly back and forth, teleporting each other. I feel like he'll just follow us in, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's stuck in. He, he's he falls into the it, the, the he's moat. He's a giant. He's a giant. Do we have like a thing? Like, do we have dynamite to take the bridge out? It could be a magic bridge too. Like, it could be you know, like impervious. Hasn't to done anything. I ain't gonna bludgeon this motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, twenty three. Ooh, that'll hit. There we go. Oh, that's worse. That's, uh, okay. <laughs> that's much worse. That is a three. So you get a clean hit, but you sort of just get the edge of one of his bones. But again, because he's brittle, because he is such an old set of bones, oh. instead of three damage, he's going to take six damage. Oh, he used numbers that time, everybody. All numbers. right. The skeleton is up next. Claw. He's going to turn to you. Yeah, he is. Wait, is he st is he restrained in my web? Oh, yeah, he's got... Thank you for reminding me. He's got to make a dexterity throw. All right. So it is restrained. His speed is zero. Attack rolls against him now have advantage. And his attack rolls have disadvantage. Fuck, yeah, they do. All right, so now he's going to take two swipes at you, Claw, and one swipe at you, Bridget. Great. And he's got disadvantage on all of those. I'd like to see him try. Okay, so, Claw. Uh, that is a 21. <laughs> yeah, it is. That'll hit. So he is going to do... That's with disadvantage? Yep. Wow. 17 damage to you. Ouch. Sure, why not? That's with the first one. For the second one, that's going to be a... 12. Okay. Does oh, he hit uh, you? No, no, he does not. No. So he miss hits you with the first one, misses you with the second one, and Bridget, 12 will not hit you either, right? No, it will not. All right. So he manages to get one hit, but he's so caught up in the webs that he just sort of like gets you in sort of a half slash of the first one and then misses with the other two and roars in frustration. Uh, and he cannot move from where he is. He is stuck exactly where he is. All right. Snedrick, you are up next. Oh, shit, that would be good. Uh, let's see. I don't have a lot of ass-kicking type moves here. Just go up and kick him in the shin. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to cast Haste. Nice. Ooh. Probably going to regret this. Choose a willing creature that you can see within range until the spell ends, which is one minute. The target speed is doubled. It gains a plus two bonus to AC. It has advantage on dexterity saving throws and it gains an additional action on each of its turns. That action Ooh. can be used only to take the attack, uh, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. My instinct is that I should probably give this to Bridget, but because Claw hasn't gone yet, I'm going to give it to Claw and hope he doesn't use this bonus action to, like, steal shit. <laughs> That's smart. I was going to suggest giving it to me because I should get, like, four attacks. Right, on. exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you got the plus two to your AC, so. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. Well done, Claw. You feel yourself invigorated with Snedric's magic, and you are up. So you get two actions this turn. Okay. So I am going to do flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it the first time. So we do an attack, and then we do two unarmed strikes, right? Yep. So if I do an unarmed strike as my attack, does that mean four unarmed strikes, or does that mean three? So the unarmed strike would be your bonus action there. So if you want to use that as your bonus action, then yes, you would get four total strikes, one with your weapon, three unarmed. And that's just one action. Okay. Wow. So we're going to do that twice. You're going to do that twice. You're going to use... Right, do you have that many key points? I have five. I've used one. Flurry right. of blows should cost one each, right? Yeah. Okay. So I should be able to do it. So that's going to be two strikes... And five unarmed strikes. Okay, cool. 
So I'm going to do the weapon ones first. Yeah. Oh! Holy shit! Oh, critical! Oh my god. That is a natural 20. Fuck yeah, it is. Uh, so I should roll the damage first on that one, right? Yeah, yes. Since it'll... Do I... Uh... That's max damage. Or is it double I, damage? Uh, it's, no, I think it's, it's double. That's double. I it's think double, it's 2d8 right? as opposed to 1d8. It might be triple. Yes. And then it might be quadruple. <laughs> well, it might be quadruple yeah. because this guy's been taking double damage. On, yeah. Whoa. On physical Order strikes. Step damage. 10. That will do... Yes, <gasps> that will do double damage. Can I direct where my attacks go on his body? Absolutely, you can. Okay, I'm going to try and like... I'm assuming kid he is like niece, a human... Kid, kid, <laughs> niece, kid. <laughs> I'm assuming he's humanoid, right? Yeah. In shape or whatever. So I'm going to try and like dislocate his legs from the rest of his body. Nice. Doesn't happen. Like his legs aren't dislocated, but you do some major damage to those leg bones. Cool. So that's one attack out of seven. <laughs> oh, wait. So no, that's 20. Sorry. 10 is doubled for your thing. So that's actually 40 points of damage. Oh! Okay. Do some more damage there. Yeah. Told you it was going to be quadruple. And he is not looking good. And then you rolled your other thing, right? My other quarter staff hit. Yep. That's a 24. That will hit. Right. Roll that damage for me. That's a six. But again, you know, so the second quarter staff hit on the way back isn't quite as strong, but that will still do 12 points of damage to him. And now you have four. Five. Sorry, five unarmed strikes. Cool. Just keep okay. going leg, dead leg, miss. dead leg, <laughs> dead leg. <laughs> That's a miss. That's probably a miss. That is also a miss. Oh, oh that is it. Yes. yes. Roll that damage. Ow. Quad. <laughs> this is a quad. You're 44. Actually, he's acting like a tank. This is the best 22. day of my life. This is me and Claw together, though. We both did this. <laughs> <laughs> both are kicking a ass. <laughs> It is 44 though. damage. So, Claw, here's the thing. You smash at the leg bone with one strike, and then you smash at it again with the second one, and then two punches don't really do anything, but that final punch, it's so strong that it blasts through the leg bone, and you see the giant skeleton teeter for a moment, and he falls over the edge of the bridge, and he clings on with one hand, and he looks up at you, and before he falls, he says... I'm going to go ahead and punch him before he says anything. I <laughs> tight, 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 tight. <laughs> I'm going to stop concentrating on my web so as not to. Uh... All right, that does not hit. He tried to say, he tried to like taunt and you just punched him in the face one more time. Is what just happened. You miss, you miss. So he goes, oh, well, that was bad sportsmanship. I'm literally doing the holding on to a thing. Final message. Uh, well, first one's in the door in more than a hundred years. Look. I know I cannot ask you this, but if you will, if you find the prince, and I hope you do, try not to hurt him. He's not evil. He's just in pain. And with that, his grip loosens and he falls into the moat below. Do I still have one punch left? Sure. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to punch the air. <laughs> you, oh, really you do thought a you were gonna punch me. Really <laughs> thought I was getting punched right there. I did too. I honestly, I feel like I wasted my spell, my haste spell. But uh. and for the first time in hundreds of years, the entrance to the tomb is unguarded. I'm gonna take well, a long rest. Does anybody want to take a long rest? <laughs> Go <ahead>. So <laughs> sex pit. So for for what it's worth. <laughs> I have a spell called Liaman's Tiny Hut where I can conjure a tiny <gasps> hut. It takes oh, me 11 yeah. minutes. <laughs> like Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, oh my it, God. Exactly. You so could have a tent. I could make us a little yurt to take a long rest in. It lasts for up to eight hours. Can you fly a little flag that says, take that, you fucking weenies, at the, the Fool's Guild? So for, for clarity, you want to create a magic tiny hut here on the bridge <laughs> and you want to you want all of you to go to sleep in it <laughs> take it maybe at the end of the I think bridge we take don't little, do that. little cuddle puddle you know kind of, you know you guys want to go back to the thought? fuck pit <laughs> <laughs> Did, Br bridget didn't you say you had an appointment at the fuck pit actually you had you had something penciled in isn't that what you said i wait, mean wait, so how many times can you do that I, I don't know. It says as ritual, I, so I think I you, can... You know... Anytime I, I have 11 minutes to spare. 
<laughs> on second thought, I think we should probably go into this fucking tomb. Okay. You're the do one you who want to do the podcast power, or so. just not or <laughs> <laughs> That's handy. That's really handy though. You're just walking straight in the entrance. Are we, can we go back and like pull up bushes until we find more hearts? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm I mean, just you, saying you can go back to the inn and sleep if you want to. I I'm just oh, but the the how often do they regenerate? I feel like a giant. Is, they're going like to have a giant skeleton back by like tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Um, problem is, I did use my one like big undead spell. Shit. We okay. might find a spot in there where we can kind of chill for a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I have a hut. Like, the thing is, is that I can do that wherever <laughs> wherever we want. Is the hut like undamageable? Like if we're sleeping in it? Oh no! It? Oh no! Not at yeah, all. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> just, it's just a fucking hut. He yeah. described it as a yurt. I feel like yeah, we're just gonna I mean, get it's fucked up inside Liam's of yurt. Liam's tiny hut. It, I I don't. It's a ten foot radius immobile dome. So maybe like Have an you igloo. Been to Burning Man, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, though, I feel like maybe the reason I'm thinking tent is because it says it springs into existence. So Ooh. I just have that sort of kind of like, you know, you pull sure. a string. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you going back to the end to sleep or are you going straight in? What are you doing? We, we should go. How hurt are people? Do we have seriously injured? Uh, I'm about halfway down. Uh, can, you, just can you heal that? I, I could, I could heal that. I mean, it takes away one of my, my spell slots, but I would say we keep uh, going. Uh, why don't I heal you? All right. You get, you get nine. Sweet. Back that'll, nine. That'll be great. Thank you. All right. Are you heading in? Yeah. I think we're heading in. All right. Beyond the stone porticultus, you see a brightly lit hallway. Quigley, who stood back and watched your fight in absolute awe, has now navigated himself to the front of the group and peers inside and says, well, it actually looks like there's nothing here. Maybe Reese was all the tomb had to... What? And then... <laughs> His head <laughs> pops off his shoulders. His body flops to the floor, and with a pop, he reappears next to you. Guys, there's a trap in there. There's a trap in that hallway. Hey, everybody. Just jumping in to thank you for listening to the show and to tell you... We're so grateful that you listen to it as often as you do. This comes out in September, which is the month that we're taking off on vacation. We've pre-recorded all of our shows. So this, well, this show always comes to you from the past, but this show comes to you from the past as do all of them this month. And it's, it's very exciting to take a month off and look into a tree or whatever it is. I'm not actually on vacation, but when I am, I will let you know what I did. I, and I'm sure some of it will be tree looking. Anyways, if you're enjoying the show, except for that part, if you're enjoying the parts of the show that I don't improvise, why not support us over on patreon.com forward slash D and D minus all spelled out. Uh, you get extra commercial free versions of the show. So you don't have to put up with that thing that I just did, whatever that is. Uh, you also get access to our mini game that we played, uh, The Worst and the Dimmest. That was such a good time, as well as three Dungeon Master Corners. It might be four now. I just, I'm, I'm losing track, but I think it's three. Three Dungeon Master's Corners, as well as our Patreon page, and there's cool bonuses and buffs. Y'all just heard that our Dungeon Master patrons got to make the magic items that our heroes got to choose from during the last prep episode. You could do that. You could do that by just throwing us a couple of bucks. And hey, if you don't have any money, that's all right. Why not head over to iTunes or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts and give us one of those five-star reviews I've heard so much about. They boost the show in the weird statistics that iTunes uses, but they're also nice. I get an email every time you write one, and it, it says a nice little thing to me. I like it. It's, it really brightens my day when I see those things. So there's, it's a nice thing to do for the show and for me personally. So, yeah, enough of that. I think that's it. We will be back next month, and I'll let you get back to it. All right. Who is that guy? Aye. Do you guys remember Quigley. who that is? Quigley. Quigley? Wait, 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 wait. I remember who you are. One second. You're a, so just so everybody remembers, because everybody's got like some sort of memory lapse or something. Uh I just feel like there's like a month between every day we yeah. have on this adventure. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Quigley. I always 
Forget what happened. Quigley, you're dressed rather finely. You say you used to live in the castle. What? 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 Who are you? Um, I was a servant to the prince. I, uh, you know, helped him out with everyday activities and uh, was sort of like also a friend to him. I knew him since we were kids. You sure you ain't going to turn out to be the prince at the end of this whole thing? No, but if I was, that's the worst way to reveal it, narratively speaking. (laughs) Sure is a good thing Harry Potter never just walked around Hogwarts being like, you're not actually Voldemort's friend, are you? Because that would just, well, it would be really useful in retrospect. I feel like that's a bit of a dunk. I feel like that's kind of... Well, okay. Hey, I I also have something that I wanted to say to you quickly. I don't know if you could tell because you're not, you know, really in on all of the magic and shit, but the reason why Claw was able to do all that damage at the end there is because of the spell I did. It was really me and him both. (laughs) Yeah, I saw you wave your hands. That was pretty cool. Thank you. We should maybe write it on the wall, like what happened exactly. Yeah, I have a pen and paper. Dariah style. (laughs) (laughs) How how did it feel being beheaded? What do you think you were beheaded by? Um, Something sharp. I can do well, it again. Go again. Yeah, go again. See yeah, do it okay. one more time. Um, a perception check while you Real quick. It. Sure. Uh, roll a perception check for me, Bridget. I'm going to try and catch the head when it comes off. That's an eight. Bridget, you are certain that what is happening is there are tiny fairies in the air, and they are pulling his head off by twisting it off, <gasps> and then they're throwing it at you. And oh, <laughs> I, I, you sing to fairies. Let me see. Okay. Uh, and then claw, <clears throat> make a dexterity I saving throw for the catching. A maid in a faraway land. Fifteen. Now, I... You catch the hell out of that head. Yeah. Does it disappear oh. or no? It does, and then quickly appears next to you. He what goes, does it feel like in my hands when it disappears? Is it like <laughs> molecules dissipating? Is it what is it? It feels like a bubble popping. Okay. Okay. Like a bag of sand. You thought you'd <laughs> thrown him off. You thought you had him there. I thought no, you no, had I'm, him there. <laughs> I'm just going for more information. Yeah. I'm wondering if it might be. Quigley reappears next to you and he goes, yeah, it's um, it's definitely sharp, I think. You sure it ain't fairies uh, twisting look, your head off? Does anybody have any light, like a light spell? Um, I don't think I have Do one. I have a light spell? You sure do. I, I do. I have a light spell oh, at phenomenal. some part. I have the opposite of a light spell. Uh, I have a cantrip. I'm going to do the light cantrip. All right. Where are you casting it? Uh, in the hallway ahead of me. Fantastic. Do me a favor. Read that spell description for me. You touch an object. One object that is no larger than 10 feet in dimension. I'm going to touch Quigley. Um, until the spell ends, the object sheds bright light in a 20-foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. The light can be colored as you like. It's going to be a soft yellow, like a soft, warm light, um, completely covering the object with something opaque blocks the light. The spell ends if you cast it again or dismiss it as an act. All right. So you cast it on Quigley. The light shines. It's actually a well-lit chamber. Mm. Yeah, the, the hallway is well-lit. It's not dark in there. He just doesn't know what keeps popping his head off. Oh, Okay. So it might not be fair. Does somebody else want to maybe look around? Maybe a perception check? I don't know. I want to catch a fairy. Why doesn't everyone make a perception check? There for we him? go. 14? I'm going to make another one. I just, yeah, 14. No. One. <laughs> so I fun. perceive not Claw. Oh, oh no. here we I got go. A 7. Never mind. No, Bridget perceives. Never mind. I, no, I, you're I, staying with I, your original I, check. I, oh, I, I, I'm not, I chose not to perceive. Bridget. <laughs> Bridget, what did you I, perceive just now when you perceived? No, Bridget stays I, with her original I perception check. I would like to investigate it, though. <laughs> I am going to investigate. Oh, I, I, have a, like, I have a plus six on investigation. I want to I want to investigate it, too. Uh, yeah, I think... I think I perceived Sandra at 14. We could just start with that. <laughs> I'm going to run up the wall and wait, do an acrobatics wait, check. Oh. Yeah! 23. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Klaus, you're talking about running up the wall inside the hallway, right? But not the dangerous part, just where we're standing. We don't know <laughs> There's where no we're There's we're, we're, we're on a bridge. Oh, okay. I thought we were in the... No, I thought we were in the hallway. No, we're not. Claude just no. tried to yeah. run up the wall of the bridge that isn't there and I'm fell into the river. <laughs> no, he, he tried to run up it really good. I'll run up the hallway wall. Let's do that. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> because oh you roll a 23... Right. And truly only because of that extraordinary <laughs> role, 
you notice the perfectly hidden saw blade that zings out of the wall behind you as you run up the wall. And when you land, you manage to duck underneath it. But what you can see now that you are in the hallway is that there are hidden saw blades in the walls with zing back and forth for about the first 40 feet of the hallway. Anybody have any, like, items that they've been forgetting about that they got from Gary? Not from Gary. Okay, so what activates the saws? Most likely pressure, right? In the floor. Claw, there's one other thing that I think I should tell you. <laughs> okay. When you turn back around to confer with the people outside, you notice that the wall has vanished behind you. The people outside, the people who have not gone in yet, you can see Claw perfectly. Claw is the only one who sees the wall. And okay. knowing Claw, he's probably not going to talk about it. Is this like so... a two-way mirror situation? Because those are really technically the same thing as a one-way mirror. <laughs> <laughs> is it four by six? It's not four by six? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to yell, hey, can you hear me? Yep, they can't hear you. They cannot hear me? How did I no. say yep? Wait, but we can see him. Uh, yeah, so we yeah, can see can that see he's yelling. He's he's not doing anything, though. Oh. You you don't see him yelling. Ah, oh. okay, so it's a time, like, well... Not a time not. thing. <laughs> it's it's a magic. thing. It's magic. Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's Eli's logic, so I don't Claw. think we can't. Claw. <laughs> What, you don't what hear do you that. see over there? You don't hear or see any of that. <laughs> and he doesn't so, respond at all. Is yeah. there no other way that I can go except so down wait, the So wait, what do we see? Is he just holding like a superhero landing pose below the saw the whole time? You don't see a saw at all. You just see him run up the wall in the hallway and then land in a superhero pose. Yeah, And he's just standing there perfectly still in the superhero not pose, talking not to responding us. to us as we yell at him? Correct. Okay. Yeah. We see him motionless right now. Hey, Quigley, Correct. can you hear me? No, Quigley also can't hear you. We should send Quigley in there. Yeah, I'm beckoning to Quigley to come back send, in. Send Quigley in there. But uh, just, uh, to, Quigley, stand, hey, just to stand next to me. Quigley, Quigley, run up the wall. Crawl in there. <laughs> just crawl on your hands in and knees. In case there's a saw. We don't know that there's a saw. Quigley says, sure. And he walks in and then he's standing next to Claw. Claw Quigley walks in next to you, is quickly beheaded by a saw, but now there's the wall behind him as well. So his dead body just lays there for a moment and then he pops back into existence and sort of ducks down for a second next to you and is like, oh, there was a there was a saw. There was a saw. So when I triggered the saws, did I realize that we could just crawl and miss them all, or are they like top to bottom? They're top to bottom. They're all over okay. the place. So, wait, so we saw then Quigley walk in there and just freeze. Yep. All Whoa. right, so so we have, like, realistically, we have to assume that they're, like, frozen in time now. We can't assume that, like, we're just, like, we would, our thought would be, like, oh, okay, well, we sure as hell can't go in there. Something, right? Something's definitely different. Who? If I, like duck down and beck and they won't see me do that, right? Okay, no, no Eli, one this is a new perception check because it's about the new situation. It's not about the the, the blades. Sure. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a 24. Yeah, it. you, you don't see anything strange. It just looks like they're standing I there perfectly still. I game. feel like I feel like she sees something strange. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like... <laughs> well, well do you guys have like a magic? Like, can you do an arcana check? Would that help? Would you be able to tell what sort of magic is going on? You I could can, do an I arcana could check. I do an arcana uh, check, which I, I I'm have a, do right now. I have a plus six on arcana. And I got so. ten on an arcana check, so... It's the fairies, Bridget. I roll... I, who's a, it's fairies. A nine. I, I roll a three are plus Are there six. mushrooms around here? I wonder if we went Snedric, through a you're also thing. starting to warm up to this fairy theory. <laughs> I... So, again, they're supposed to sing. I once met a girl from a faraway land. She took me away... <laughs> And she took me by the hand. Bridget, as you're singing, <laughs> Claw... I don't <laughs> I will ever come back. Let me narrate our podcast. Right, I can um, hear you through the magic wall. Please stop singing. As you're singing, Claw and Quigley disappear. And it's just an empty, <gasps> brightly lit hallway again. Claw, saw blades come through and they are going to hit you for... Good thing we healed. 11 damage. 
Dave's just, just like checking lying? everything Dave, and it's all shit. <laughs> Every role is absolute shit. I don't know Dave. how this is possible. I just tried to check all my different skills and none of them came up over 10. Yeah. I have pluses nope. on most of them. Yep, exactly. While all of this is going on, Dave is misidentifying a mushroom very publicly, even though he's trying to do it stealthily. Wait, there is a mushroom. Can I just like lie on the ground where I am so hopefully that I don't like. They're all over the walls. They will, cool. if, they, if you laid still, they would just come and kill you. Oh, what if I just uh, summon Carl and have him fly through? Yeah, but he's going to die. No, <laughs> but he might, it, it might, it, the weight, he's flying, so it might not activate. I mean, the I feel like, yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Our, our, like at, at a certain point, Carl has an oh no, Mr. Bill kind of a thing going on. Like, I feel like <laughs> saw, saw Blades is exactly the kind of moment where we now deploy Carl. I just, yeah, I want to be clear. I don't think the god of this universe would kill Carl with a saw. I feel like that would just be like so <laughs> offensive. Oh, you summoning Carl? Yep. All right. Why Let me bring though? up the what? wild wait, magic wait. table. I also <laughs> like that oh, something boy. stupid and funny happens to me if Carl dies. <laughs> wait. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try and act the second Carl gets like halfway through the door, but I don't know he's coming yet. Do I? You don't. No. Okay. You strongly okay. suspect that that or a blunder bus is about to yeah, What do I normally do? I summon Carl or I shoot a fucking gun and the gun doesn't even make any sense right now. Can we talk through bread? <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, yeah, the, bre the bread walkie talkies. So Dave, the mark of the chain glows golden around your wrist and Carl the Puggle Pegacorn appears next to you. Hey, Carl, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, can you do me a favor? I want you to um, fly through that hallway, and we're pretty sure since you're flying that uh, there may be saws that fly out and like behead people, but like it's never beheaded a flying bug and peck gorn before. And we don't. If you're not touching the floor, I think it's safe. So, if you could just fly through and just you know check that for us. All right, sure. Great. Carl flies down the hallway and vanishes, and then Heath. Roll a D one thousand for me. Oh me? <laughs> yes. Uh, where's the custom? Oh, I'm sorry, Heath. Correction. Roll a D ten thousand for me. Ten thousand. Yeah, a patron sent me this. It's wow. a wild search table with ten thousand results. All right, I just rolled a thousand something. What is it? All right. Dave five five nine. Five five. five. All right, let's check that out. Five, five, nine. Seems good. Seems like a good one. Dave? Hello? This is strange, but you know two things right now. You know that Carl the Puck of Pegacorn is dead, and you know that you can turn into a falcon now, but you are only 30% <laughs> likely to turn back. Uh, I would like to turn into a falcon. Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking okay. Christ. <laughs> okay. You turn into a falcon. All right. Well, now that you can fly, I think we should send you down the uh, little tunnel there. <laughs> well, it's sad because you could fly before. You know what I love about this? Dave can't say shit as a falcon. Can he? Fal yeah, falcon, falcon no, he's just a f He can go. Ah! Captain That's Falcon it. can talk. Uh, what do I fellow... hear when he says that? Oh, yeah. Claw, he's a sexy ass falcon, just so you know. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Claw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, hey, what happens when you throw one of the magic rocks through there? We don't have magic rocks no more. He's a falcon. <laughs> and he doesn't have magic rocks anymore. Ooh, He's a falcon. Also, what, what happens to me because Carl died? Don't I have to roll another thing to get something stupid happening? That's that's what you're a falcon now. That's what you you have you the are, ability are to falcon. turn into a falcon. Oh, it, sweet. Forever? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Possibly. So I don't want to do it yet. I want to hold on to that for maybe. No, until you just said you just I turn said into I a falcon. No, no, I said I would like to, you but I didn't, didn't say I am. No, you no, said you're definitely a falcon. falcon. <laughs> yeah, you said I turn into a falcon. You didn't say you I'd did. like to. I'd like to think about this for a little bit. Mm, Too late. I'm, you're a fucking no, falcon. You're a fucking falcon. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking I mean, falcon. you could think about it with your little falcon I... brain, but you can try to turn back, but you only have a 30% I want to see a falcon try to shoot a blunderbuss. is what I want to see. I take out my blunderbuss. You so can't. You're with a fucking what? Your falcon, falcon man. hands? <laughs> he, so he's a falcon wait. still on the other side of the wall, right? Yes. So oh wait. Oh my God. You could be an Atlanta falcon, Heath. <laughs> nope. And they yep. wouldn't. He's a falcon. That's technically, you would say. He's a bird. Be. He's the falcon bird. Okay. I'm 
just going to fucking run through the goddamn thing <laughs> in a second. I don't Fantastic. even goddamn care. I'm doing it. I'm running through. All right, Bridget, you run through. Suddenly you see everything clearly. You see Claw, who has been sawed quickly, has been sawed into several pieces, but is reforming. And He's like uh, Julianne make... at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make an attack roll against you here from the saws as they pass by. Sure. And they miss you. So just as you run in, you happen to run just past the saws and they miss you. Now that you're in, you can see that the hallway is dark. But because you have dark vision, you can see that the hallway is 120 feet wide and 160 feet long. You can see that the saw blades only run for the first 80 feet of the hallway. And past that, there are large pillars crushing into the ground. And then beyond that, there's something that you can't quite make out, but you get a bad feeling about it. Okay. So I should have cast dark vision is what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I make the voice of a falcon that's saying this is clearly a, a Mario Brothers world and we should figure out a solution based on that. None of you hear any of that because he goes. Arr, arr. <laughs> well, I get it, don't I? I understand. The Falcon never said he came inside, so he can't nope. fucking hear what we're doing. Um, and uh, by the way, I turned Quigley into a fucking lamp, so everybody, can, like everybody in here, Claw, you can see what's going on. Wouldn't I need dark vision to see, not light? Quigley glows now. I have yep. a torch. Um, no matter ah. how many pieces, you, no, you, you don't. don't. You're, you're a Falcon. falcon. You're a Falcon. I do have Why a torch. Did... Ah. Why did Bridget need dark vision to tell that and I couldn't tell that? Yeah, because Quigley just glows and she has dark vision, which means she sees like it's light. Okay, how do we get them in here? Calm. Quigley pops back into existence and he goes, <laughs> uh, guys, I think if we don't want to keep getting attacked by saw blades, we need to uh, make it past the pillars. Aye, okay, here we go. Um, you create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of your choice within range, which is 30 feet. So I can do it from uh, to outside back where they were. Sure. One second. I think you could choose between like thunderclap and the cry a of a raven. So what if I make a raven that sounds like, come the fuck inside? No, it's a raven. <gasps> Ominous so whispers. I think I'm just going to come the fuck inside of my own there volition. I just had the <laughs> thought that like I'm stuck out here with this. Oh, hey, hey, wait. Since Dave turned into a, a falcon, can I take his bread jacket? It's all gone. <laughs> what? It's, too it's bad. all gone where? To Falcon Land? There's some Falcon yeah, now magic. suddenly that's wearing it? I don't. It's in a pocket dimension until he's not a fucking what Falcon. What kind anymore. of rapture <laughs> physics is this? This doesn't even make sense. That's Can not we how it would redo this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I kicked a little ass in the fight. I don't think so. Um, Yeah, no, but I'm going to run in of my own volition and I'll say, come on, Falcon. Yeah. No. All right. uh, huh? Snedrick, you. Come inside. The saws attack you. So, yeah, they're going to hit you for 11 damage. Ouch. As you make it inside, you now see everything clearly. I believe you also have dark vision, so you now see yes. everything that I just described for Bridget. Dave slash Falcon, do you follow Snedrick, or are you just a Falcon outside? <laughs> okay. Tough to tough but fair. Thank you for that compliment about my dungeon Ooh. mastering. Ooh, okay. I've always got okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm going to thaumaturgy right behind him and make a loud thunderclap so he has to, like, run inside. Dave. I feel like you should make a, a sexy falcon. raven voice. Like <laughs> you, hear, you hear a thunderclap behind you. Does that make you go inside? No. Like, right behind him. <laughs> like, right behind him. Motherfucker. Um, all right. I'm going to do a sexy raven Shriek inside. We could just leave him out there and uh, go on. He's a fucking he's a, a fucking coo -coo -coo. falcon. What good is yeah, he gonna... he's useless at this point. Ha -coo 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 -coo. I mean, if we need to catch a smaller bird or something and get it to land on our hands or Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we just let's <laughs> let's just go on without him? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Can I cast dark vision <laughs> so I can see? Yeah, you cast dark vision so you can see. Thank you. What do you do? I go inside. I'm gonna. Nice. I, I'm gonna. Juke. Wait, Dave's inside. Let me attack Fine. him with the saw blades. I'm flying. <laughs> you like literally a just falcon. asked me what I was gonna do. I was just <laughs> sorry. I, <laughs> he, he didn't say he was. No, you're he was right. You're right. No, it was, was his, it was his fault. Uh, yeah, and it misses you. So you fly in as a falcon. Nice. You can now see everything. Just to be clear, Dave, you do have the ability to turn back into yourself. Maybe it just only works thirty percent of the time. Okay, can I keep just doing that over and over? So I will eventually. Uh, you try once per day. 
What, where does it say? <laughs> where does it say once per I'm day? So Can I see the table that you're looking at? It's in my table. <laughs> Let me. Man, can you send it to me? If I were Dave, I would wait to try to turn back until after maybe the the like the saws. The tracks, yeah. The oh, saws I'm saying I'm saying a falcon. I just like you to send me the table just I really just, quick so I can see it. You got it. I'll send it to you. Okay. Right now. So can can Dave understand us? He just can't speak back to us. Right. Okay. So I think that I just acrobatics my way through the maze, through the yeah. I was gonna say course. I'm gonna juke. I'm gonna like I'm yeah. gonna like you know do some left, do some right. Do you want me to go first and see if there's a big red switch at the end that turns everything off? <laughs> I mean, n no, because I'm pretty badass too. I'm gonna also jump around and do <laughs> cool acrobatics. Snedrick, I'm gonna cure your wounds. One second. Oh, thanks for that. Cast spell. <laughs> You get six. Okay. Wonderful. Go okay. ahead and give him yeah, uh, six Cedric, take that healing. Six damage. Six. Wonderful. And we're back into initiative. There are no enemies. You are just facing the pillars and the, the saws and whatever's at the end of the hallway. So now that you are all inside, Bridget, you are up first. What do you do? Um, <laughs> I'm going to... I can make a hut. I, they're not, <laughs> they're not things. Quigley, does any of this look recognizable to you? Um, not particularly. And then he gets sliced in half again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never um, fails to get a laugh. <laughs> we should have him move away from the saw area. I think we're I mean, just we in the saw area. We should all move away from the saw area. I'd love that. Love that I, for us. Would love that so much. I think it's all saw yeah, area. Yeah, since the saws, like, uh, can we just try to run? Yes, you can. I'm going to first try to move. Perfect. And I'm, Gonna move as far down the corridor as I can. Wonderful. And you make it past the saws to where the pillars are smashing up and down. Fun. She didn't even have to roll. Didn't have to roll. You don't have to roll you, you to, can, to, to run. To move. Oh, well, okay. All right. Cool. Snedrick, you're up next. Uh, wait, I don't want to do something, right? I want to see if I can do something. If you do something as well, you only go half the distance. Okay. Run! <laughs> I'm just going to scream that. I, I was going to. I'm going to do the <laughs> penalty-free, easy, just go down the hallway thing that apparently we could do. <laughs> yep. 50. Yeah. So you could take a dash action, which is running double your speed. So you also make it down the hallway past the saw blades. Because I'm pretty fast for a... Uh, yeah. Whatever I am. Claw? I guess I'll dash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a hard decision, I know. Yeah, you make it past the saw blades as well. We wasted so much time. Yeah. You're all doing really well on attack rolls, by the way. I am rolling attack rolls against you by these blades. To, oh, great. To let, lest you think the solution to my puzzle was move in any direction. <laughs> it certainly seems That's that what way. I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> no, the blades are missing you. Dave, you are up. You are a falcon. What kind Ten of falcon am I? You're a peregrine falcon. Oh, the fastest one. I would like to dash. <laughs> yeah so you yep. make it down to Man. the end of the hall actually <gasps> Ooh, you Yahtzee. fly past the oh actually wait I gotta do the fucking pillars crushing pillars I keep those in mind as I'm going Dave roll <laughs> a <laughs> roll a d20 for me oh no this can't be good no whammies no whammies no whammies 14 plus 5 that's a 19 that is a 19. Well yeah. done, Eli. You fly down the hall, past the blades, in between these crushing pillars, and you land on an evil-looking skull at the end of the hallway. I wouldn't land on that. You have no idea why, but it fills you with absolute terror. What would a good-looking skull be? <laughs> you know. A good, like a smiley skull. Like the like, one we killed? Yeah. Like a sexy skull. Coco? Like yeah. a sexy skull. Sorry, I just want Bridget to describe a sexy skull really quick. <laughs> like very round. Curvy. Yeah. It's a bumps a in skull. the sexy area. I mean, like I was talking about a skull with a bang and bod, but sure, whatever. <laughs> All right. And a great personality. Cool. And yeah. one that returns your text. That's you know, it's great. Make a wisdom <laughs> saving throw for me. Are you talking to me? Yes. Or we could just dive down deeper on this skull thing. Yeah, it's a one. <laughs> that is a one. You are well, horrified it's a five. by this. It's a five. 
I have a plus four. With a one, you don't get your pluses. So you are so terrified by this that you fly backwards and sort of hover amongst the pillars. So you are now hanging there Falcons in midair. Falcons can hover. That doesn't even make sense. Where the pillars are. <laughs> I'm slowing time down so that people can see you sort of take off backwards and be like, Kah! Falcons can't fly backwards. And you go backwards. back. Oh my God, you turn he said around your name. You fly. He's calling you Claw. No, he said something else. Oh, yeah. he did? So, and and uh, for the record, you are now frightened, which means you cannot move to the end of the hallway unless you beat a wisdom saving throw on your next turn. All right. Bridget, you're up next. You're past the, the saw blades. You are at the pillars. crushing pillars. Crushing yes. pillars. I'm going to try to dash again. You're going to try and run past them again? <laughs> I'm going to do it. You All know? right. You are going to make a oh boy. dexterity saving throw for me. Dex. Come on. Come on. Oh, baby. That's a 19. It's a 19. So you do make it through, but you take some damage. Okay. You're going to take 11 bludgeoning damage. Not bad. Sorry, five bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's even better. Uh, Snedrick, you're up next. So there's sm there's smashing things that, like, don't kill you. Yeah. They just, like, hurt you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they, like, <laughs> they bonked her on the way. They just a little. <laughs> Mm. So like like a garage door opener from like the eighties. <laughs> yeah, you mm know -hmm. it would exactly. go back up, but <laughs> or a subway, a subway door. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, on Exa you. exactly, exactly. Now, so okay, are they going it's in a like swamp with a safety feature? <laughs> well, that's what I'm asking. Are, are they going in like an up down? Like, are they, is there a pattern here? Are they like triggering as you get closer, like a swamp? Or you can make an investigation check instead of running and get crushed to death. I was a, Might be worth I it. was picturing one of those block I things mean, on in Mario Kart where they fall on you and you're just like dazed. Well, that's for a little bit that's what I'm along. asking. That's the thwomp. Yeah, so the Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Um, <laughs> so, so no, but like, I mean, do I? I need an investigation check to know if they're you going up and down in a pattern, yeah, or you if, can time it right. <laughs> there's no safe space to stand. So in order for you to watch them, you would have to hold still in their midst. Oh, I see. Because I can't notice them otherwise. Okay, fine. I'll do. I, <laughs> right. I will do the running forward thing. All right. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. Fourteen. Fourteen. That is. Ooh. That's a seventeen. Se seventeen, rather. Sorry. Yeah. Seventeen total. Yep. You're going to take five damage, but you make it through. Claw, you are up next. I'm going to do it acrobatically. Because I get the same save either way. <laughs> sure. I get the same you, modifier. You cartwheel back. Yeah. The no, I backflip. We are a backflipping crew. I backflip oh, through. Right. Oh, the, the bear shits Ooh. itself. It's five yeah. plus seven, 12. You're going to take 11 damage and you are knocked prone. What does that mean? You're on the ground. So, but is it like, what is like, does it do anything disadvantagey. You can't move next turn. You've got to stand up as your move action. Okay, so, it's, got so it. now can, because me and Bridget are past those, right? Mm -hmm. Could we take each our turn and like grab one leg each and just yank him <laughs> forward? You can do that, but something's going to happen to you on your turn. Oh, so I, I see. I see. You'll, have to, you'll have to win that before you can. Oof. Dave, it is your turn. You are back amongst the pillars, so make a dexterity saving throw for me. Yahtzee. 19. Yeah. So you, you <laughs> soar back out of the pillars and you've escaped the pillars. All right, Bridget, we are to you. You can now see the scary skull. Can I not do anything on my turn? No, you, you're, you're you were just escaping the pillars again. <laughs> I can't really do like limiting. a trick. So the, the scary skull pushed you back into the pillars and your turn was escaping the pillars again. Now, Bridget, mm. you see the scary skull, mm -hmm. uh, and you are going to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Well, that's not great. I got a five. You got a five. You turn around and run back into the pillars. <laughs> okay. okay. To help uh, me, that makes very right? little sense. To help me. So this skull, you can now tell that it's happened to two of you, has a fear spell on it, and when you fail your wisdom saving throw, it magically compels you to run the other direction. Or in your case, fly. So probably nobody touched the skull. <laughs> you don't have to touch the skull. You just have to see it. So nobody look at the skull. You can't tell us that because you're a falcon. Caw? Yeah, caw, caw, caw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got that one. I understood that one. 
Snedrick, make a wisdom saving throw for me. You also see the skull. I'm going to make the fuck out of a wisdom saving throw. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Come on, Snedrick. A a eight. Oh. <laughs> oh, we are rolling like shit today. Turns right the fuck around and runs back <laughs> into the thing. I'm like lying under the pillow like, why do you guys keep turning around? <laughs> Well, now we can grab his legs. I mean, we're in the perfect <laughs> position. Close your eyes, Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can't do anything with our turn. No. Nope. At all. No, because no, you, you failed the wisdom saving oh, throw. Okay, I see. Yep. Yeah. So Clock. he has to stand up Clock. with his turn. Yep. So I guess I'll stand up. Well, yeah, I was just say, or up. not. I mean, you know, this. <laughs> and make a, make a dexterity saving throw for me. Really, Roll around. Stand a up. Bit. Yep. Okay. No, because you're standing up well, amongst the no, pillars. No, stand up acrobatically. Oh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, never yeah. mind. Well, you're good. You're good. I get you're the good. same modifier either way. Seven plus 12, 19. Fantas so you do a, a back handspring out of the pillars do from up. lying down. <laughs> Dave, so you can now see the skull again. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. <laughs> uh, just really quick before that happens. Um, I'd like to... Let's see. Uh, I'd like to throw my... Robe on top of the skull. One, you're a falcon. Yep. Two, <laughs> I have a robe. You can't do anything until you've made this wisdom saving throw. But before that happens, like as an interrupt, <laughs> no, you no. can't do an interrupt. <laughs> you're one, you're a falcon. Two, you can't do you anything. You don't have a robe. I was looking save. for it earlier because I was kind of <laughs> hungry for bread. Yeah. yeah. Can I look away from the skull? No. No. You have no, to do a magic. wisdom saving throw, and then we just have just, to keep just. <laughs> There's a lot of rolling in Face, a row 18. here. Yeah. Oh, nice. All 18, right. yes. So for the magic does not affect you, and you can fly over to this skull and do whatever you want as a falcon because you have not tried to turn back into a dragon. <laughs> okay. Can he I just, still, like, kick it away? I still have though? my okay. inventory, right? No, no, it's in a pocket no, dimension. you're a falcon. <laughs> Why? Yeah, claws a bird. I can, I can own things. No, you can because no. it would be like, no, like, it would be okay. dragonborn size. Okay, so theoretically, you still have ownership of those things. <laughs> yeah, where but are they're, like, not... they're in a pocket dimension. Where the fuck were you when I was trying to steal your bread? Throw the <laughs> skull under the pillar, or just yeah, yeah. Try to oh hell yeah, out. man! Fuck yeah! Can I just move it somewhere? What's in front of me? Yeah, how about under, under, the, under the pillar? That would under crush the pillar. it. If you're gonna move it, just move it under the pillar. Move it under a pillar. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna At move the very least, so we it. would then be running in the right direction yeah. if we failed <laughs> our wisdom savings throw. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it as far as I can past everybody, so it's under those pill under those smashy things, but beyond them. You know what I mean? Back the other direction. Okay. Make an intelligence check for Ooh. me. You can do uh, this. an Arcana check, actually. Yeah, you not can intelligence. Do this. You got all this, right. buddy. You got not this. intelligence, Arcana. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, it's a two. Oh. It's a two. Yeah. So you scrabble at the eyes on this skull, but nothing happens. Okay, I'd like to do a spell. I think you're done. You can't. You're <laughs> a falcon. Like to do a bonus. Wait, falcon. wait, wait. Uh, I, I, I <laughs> can still do spells. Flap. No, you can't. You're a falcon. Falcons don't have spells. I think literally all you can do is fly. You can fly. You can attack. You can do with wisdom. Your claws. You can you yeah. can be wise. You still have your intelligence, but you are a falcon. Wait, if I still have my intel, why would I still have my intelligence, but I can't do a spell? Yeah, like does he have to do like hand motions or something? Yeah, you got to be in your body to do magic. Oh well, like and, yeah. So you're saying I'm incorporeal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to use your mind control powers on yourself to dominate your own will, <laughs> I'm just checking. This is one word, and it's blunderbuss. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Would he turn into a blunderbuss then? Bridget, <laughs> you right. are up. Make that dexterity saving throw for me. Dexterity saving throw first. Uh, yeah, because you, you ran back into the pillars. That's a 15. You made it. Whatever evil bad guy is watching us get through this. Yeah, there's a bad guy on like a security cam just weeping with <laughs> laughter at this whole thing. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is Snedric, a falcon? <laughs> dexterity saving throw for me. I'm going to roll a big old 17 on my dexterity saving throw. You have yeah. made it out. Claw. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. All right. That is a 13 plus zero. That is not going to do it. it. You are going to run man. back into the pillars. <laughs> Dave, you are unaffected by the spell at this point. Nice. What do you do? Throw. Uh, the I got it. Hold on. Thing. Can I just cover falcon. The, the thing and block their view of it? That's uh, good. You, 
You could try. You could do that with your try. falcon wings. That would yeah, be. I could yeah. just like be yeah, in the yeah. way of it from the angle so that they can like get past this shit without looking yeah. at it, right? Let me see what skill that is. That, that is that's standing. It's the skill of standing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a deception check. Come I'm not on. deceiving. Why is it? Okay, it's folding your arms. Essentially, it really is. It, it would wings. be. It would be. But he's got to block the okay, skull. Okay, 21. Arm. Deception. 21. Yeah, you cover the shit fuck out of that you. skull. <laughs> it is covered as fuck. All right, Bridget, you are up. But the thing is covered now. Now there's it's no covered. Yeah, you don't, have to do, you don't have to do it. So you're there. There's a falcon on top of this skull. Uh, well, he's going to have to move or I'm going to... Because I need to remove the, the thing. He, unless is, I, he wait, is going to have to move. Unless... Look I, away. I, Just don't I, look I, at it. I took... <laughs> His wings, care very carefully, take his wings and just tuck them around the thing and try to yeah, pull yeah, yeah. him and the skull. Right, like over. a fucking potholder. Exactly, like a potholder. <laughs> so and... you're using Dave the Falcon <laughs> as a potholder. Uh, just just out of curi- wait, 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 wait. Just out of curiosity, does a 15 pass? A 15 what? A 15 wisdom check. Yes. To survive the... To survive the, yes. Spell, yes. It does pass, so it doesn't yes. actually <laughs> harm me at I all. Think, I think you should have to roll for potholder. <laughs> I like right. the, the potholder thing. It's way better for the eventual <laughs> graphic novel. I am going to inflict wounds on the skull. Going to inflict wounds on the skull. All right, in order to do damage to it, I need you to make an arcana check for me. That's a 13. That does not do it. Motherfucker! I'm the only one left to be damaged, though, right? Yeah. Bo- Snedrick? Wait, bo- bonus, but bonus it's covered, action. Though. Bonus action, I'm going to heal Snedrick. Nice. Fuck yeah. Um, you might want to heal me next. <laughs> Snedrick, how much life do you have left? 22. I have eight. Yeah, maybe you want to... Well, maybe you want to get Claw. You know him. Unless you're sick of his shit. I mean, I can understand. Anna, that. just let Noah know how much he's healed by. All right. I, I believe you. Snedrick, what are you going to do on your turn? Dave has covered up the thing so you don't have to make a wisdom throw. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna reach in with my hands and I'm going to do like, you know, bowling. Like, I'm going to grab the eyes with my hands, mm-hmm. with my fingers, and I'm mm-hmm. going to bowl it back yeah. towards the uh, pillars. With, with Dave the Falcon on it? No, I let I'm going to... I'm going to like look away from second. it as I do it. Okay. Re- if you bowl it, I am going to make Dave the Falcon who is covering it <laughs> make the same <laughs> dexterity saving throw as the skull. <laughs> also, you got to make an arcana check for me. Make an arcana check. Okay. What happens if Dave fails? <laughs> he's going to get bludgeoned slightly by the or or more than slightly. I mean, he's a falcon, so he's going to get bowled. I mean, into honestly, the there's a there's a degree to which I'm just like, yeah, you shouldn't have turned into a falcon. <laughs> um, yep. So I'm going to make my Arcana saving throw or my Arcana throw, which is going to be seven plus six. God damn it, thirteen. Nope, can't get it I, off. The I wall. don't think I've rolled any fucking thing above a goddamn like above fifty percent at this point. We've all done a lot of thirteen. What, what did I do instead? I, like I, I went in there and I like stuck my finger in the wrong <laughs> hole, and it was very embarrassing. And you stuck your finger up the Falcon's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Dave turns to you, car, car. <laughs> <laughs> Me and cloacas, I'll tell you. <laughs> Sadly, the right. running theme. All right, Claw, you're up. And and uh, uh, eight, Noah, eight. You got should eight it be me? Hit, hit should points. it be me, not Noah? Sure, it should be you, not Noah. Okay, it's eight hit points. Take them. Cool. Yeah, you yeah, just might... doubled his hit points. There. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I might well, survive now. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, dexterity or wisdom? Dexterity, right? Yeah, I feel like Arcana check is where we're at at this point. Uh, Arcana check to do anything to the skull or whatever you want to do because you're not under a spell's thrall. Hmm. I feel like anytime it's a- whatever you want to do, I feel like that's a bad thing with Claw. I haven't been mentioning it, but Quigley has been here the whole time just getting <laughs> shredded by those fucking <laughs> razors at the back. I have actually been rolling for him. He is in the like turn order. And just, he's never done anything except get fucking cut in half. Oh, so he no. hasn't even so, made it to the pillars, right? Yeah, so for the graphic novel, just everyone keep in mind that Quigley's in the back being like, you can do it! Ha! I believe in you! <laughs> and and keep in mind, he's glowing, right? So every time he gets cut in half, there's a weird <laughs> we strobe. <lose. laughs> yep. Right? Like, the, the lights are just, like, flashing this way and that. We're getting triples. Sometimes we get, like, a triple shadow and everything. Oh, it's probably got a like, kind of a rave feel going in there, at least as far as the lighting goes. Mm. Uh, I mean, I guess I have to 
do some sort of move the skull action, right? You could do whatever you want. Well, I mean, honestly, so so right now, Dave is covering it with his wings because he's a falcon. That's all he's got. If you have something that you could use to just cover it, we could just move on with our lives because apparently <laughs> moving the fucking thing is a huge pain in the ass. No kidding. Well, is there a door behind it? Behind the skull? The skull. Uh, you'd have to make well, a perception check. Haven't you stolen check or like several pieces of like clothing? Just like I drape it over. I can see in the dark. There's no door that you can see, no. Okay. What if you put wow. that wig that you got on the skull? Nope. Carl has the wig. Carl has the wig. It's true. And but yes, Carl's I do dead. have. I do have the blue robes that I stole in the shattering. Yeah, just throw that sure. over there the skull. There you go. Throw them over the skull. Th- throw that over the skull. I'm going to have you make an Arcana check God with advantage. With advantage. Yeah, but I don't have good Arcana. So just roll just a regular one and does. you can... I have plus can... six on this shit. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's just I, I, I rolled goodness. a fucking seven when I got it. You have a That's plus four happens. on Arcana, actually. I do, yeah. It's weird. I don't know why. Uh, let's see what happens. Ah, it was an almost an 18, oh. but it's a four plus four. How is it almost an 18 if it's a four? No, it was it was rolling on the oh, screen. Oh, right? I see. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, and that's like, not almost. I mean, it, it was, was almost a fourteen of an eighteen. <laughs> it was equally almost all the other numbers. <laughs> uh, you have an advantage, so roll again. Okay. Come on, eleven plus four. That'll just do it. You throw <gasps> these Fucking blue robes, God. and for your creativity, one take an inspiration point. I two, already have one. Okay, <laughs> have a second one. No, give it to Dave because it was Dave's idea. Thank Definitely you. Definitely not. <laughs> it was Two. also partially my idea to push let's the let's all remember what Heath does with his inspiration points. <laughs> I do awesome stuff. Secondly, because those are magical robes by a magic wearer, they dampen the spell's effect, and now the Arcana check to damage it for other people will be lower. Okay, Dave, you're a falcon. You're on top of a skull, and now you're covered in magic robes. <laughs> do I go to sleep immediately? <laughs> yeah, make a. Make a wisdom saving throw not to fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> Is it wisdom that you need? 15. To nope, you fall asleep. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'm, ju- I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're awake, but you are under robes and a falcon. Okay. I bet it's really complicated to actually get out from under robes. When I would you're like a to inch out from under the robes so that I don't show the skull to anybody. Why don't Dexterity? you just turn back into Dave? Dexterity. Great question. Really good chance that doesn't work. And if it does work, I pop up and like all of a sudden the skull's right there and you can all see it. That's true. He would just be face to face with the skull <laughs> under the magic robes. Make a dexterity saving throw to escape oh, these robes. God. This is dexterity? Can we to just scooch leave? out from under robes? I feel Remember, like it's de- you have deception. A, doesn't he have a falcon's dexterity right now? He does, yes. Okay. I feel That's like it's very dexterous. They're, they're very, very dexterous. dexterous. So dexterous. Peregrine. So yeah. the very dexterous. Yeah, so what should my plus be given that? I've I've just been taking three away 21. from the thing I've set. Your plus is three if you want to do it. 16. Yeah, that is. You escape the robes. Yahtzee. You are now out of the robes. And so a we're all standing here now without being affected by the skull, right? Because it's under magic robes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we just talk? <laughs> well, we could. Sure. We can, but like there's no visible door or way out. So I think, I feel like we've got a very Zelda dungeon kind of situation going here. Um, I'm going to make an Arcana check. Nice. Motherfucking shit balls. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. What I am that? shitty. I can't do shit. I can't do shit to it. Next time I'm just going to. Uh, yeah. In order to do any damage, we have to do the fucking Arcana check. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Snedrick, you're up. All right. So I'm going to pick it up in its magic robes and I'm going to do the, the like, and I'm going to sling it. Yeah, make a, like a crowbar. I think I have a crowbar in a pocket dimension. Do you have one in the you regular need to dimension? Hit, you don't need to have hit any melee <laughs> got, spells. I have a ten. A ten. I have a ten. You pull the skull off the wall. Now, when you pull the skull off the wall, so two things happen. As you bowl it back towards the pillars, it is crushed, and the wall behind it vanishes. And does it go? Like it does have a little. It does. Well, we didn't open the treasure chest. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> yeah. And um, Quigley, by the way, has caught up to you at this point, And he goes, we made it, everybody. <laughs> First hallway down. Yeah, man, you nailed it. You yeah. doing okay, Quigley? I died so many times, you guys.
preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.